Tonight, police say they just wrapped up their investigation into the tasing of a husky loose in a Lodi neighborhood. Sadly, that dog died. His owners say the officers rushed to use excessive force, but police say they were told the dog was aggressive. And warning, the video you're about to see may be difficult to watch. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp is live getting answers from both sides on this. Ashley. Hey guys, yeah, the dog's owners told me tonight that they hired today an animal rights attorney to represent them after more than $25,000 has been donated online by supporters of the family to fund what they say will be a pursuit of legal justice for their dog, Enzo. Now, they tell me that this all comes as a shock, and they maintain that no calls have ever been made to Lodi police before about this dog acting aggressively, and they feel that his death is unwarranted. Oh my God! This video from a neighbor shows the moment a Lodi police officer fires a taser multiple times at a dog they were called to catch. CBS 13 has chosen to freeze the video here as it is disturbing. The husky is seen going limp and its body is then drugged to an animal control officer's car. That's not right. Not for a human, not for a dog. The dog Enzo's loving owners, Anna and Eileen, say he got out of the house by accident and hours later was dead. Their grief still fresh as a memorial to Enzo sits outside their home. He was never aggressive towards anybody and he was the nicest dog ever. And just like seeing him like that and how stiff he was and I felt his head and they had tasers on the back of his head. <laughs> Lodi police say nearly two weeks ago, an animal control officer was called to catch a loose husky that was, by the account of a 911 caller, aggressive, saying it was threatening to neighbors and nearby pets. Enzo's owners say it's a story they don't believe. There's no way. We have too many witnesses that said that Enzo was not being aggressive. Lodi police say an animal control officer tried unsuccessfully to catch the dog twice before the taser was used. That choice has people criticizing this use of force. Not only did he tase him one time, he continued to tase him. An animal advocate with Lodi Alliance for Animals is calling for the police officers and animal control officers on scene to be fired and charged. Including uh, the DA filing animal cruelty charges and passing Enzo's laws so this doesn't happen to another dog again. Lodi's police chief released a statement Monday saying their department has finished its investigation into the death of Enzo and told CBS 13, quote, we have provided all of this information to the San Joaquin County District Attorney's Office for their review and determination of whether animal cruelty charges are warranted. Now, we were not able to get answers tonight on exactly what type of animal response training Lodi police officers undergo currently, but the police chief did say in that statement released tonight that the department is bringing in additional resources to provide more training on dealing with at-large animals in the community. They also said that an internal review of this incident to see if any department policy and protocol was broken, that's ongoing tonight.